Hi and welcome to War Thunder Tutorials. This time we're back with your favorite show, How Not To Lose. During our previous episode, we explained the proper and improper playstyles associated with various vehicle classes, but this show is not limited to just that, because there's always room for error when playing a certain vehicle in a certain battlefield environment. In this episode, How Not To Lose Playing, Urban Maps. As of now, there are six urban maps in the game. Hergen Forest is not one of them, by the way. But the towns and cities of urban maps are not their only defining feature. Some maps have a lake, some have a beach, some have forest. Still, street blocks are where the main skirmishes are at. This is where the players make most mistakes when playing. Rule number one. Don't be too aggressive in your offense. Why are the streets and alleys so dangerous? Mostly thanks to the total lack of visibility, not until the very last moment can you know where the enemy is. Meaning that your enemy might strike from anywhere, anytime. But many players care little for this fact. They boldly rush forward, leading the assault from the front. Such heroism always ends in tragedy. Like taking in a single good shot from a side street, followed by an ammo rack exploding like a firework, popping out from the hero's turret hatches. If you wish to avoid that, you must act cautiously. Move up slowly carefully checking your corners while being supported and covered by your teammates. Don't bother trying to speed past some dangerous spot. If your enemy is lying in ambush, he will need just a split second to aim and fire at you. Rule number two. Don't be too aggressive in your defense either. Any urban location is first and foremost good cover, especially around capture points. The maps are designed in such a fashion that a capture point, once seized, can be held even against a superior number of attackers unless you break the second rule, that is. Your primary task is to hold the position as long as possible, not to kill them all. Don't bother counterattacking or chasing after a stricken foe, because this might be a trap to lure you out from cover. Act carefully. Take a shot and roll back behind a building. Wait for your enemy to react to that. Constantly observe your flanks and do not expose the sides of your hull. Even alone, you can hold the capture point a little longer, ultimately bringing your team closer to total victory. Rule number three, always remember what vehicle you're driving. Yes, yes, we constantly talk about how to play a certain type or kind of combat vehicle in a game, but it seems that some players haven't seen our tutorials or haven't paid enough attention. Why? Well, because we still see SPG players rolling into towns and cities where they can constantly get ambushed, not even being able to bring their guns to bear. In an urban combat environment, just like in any other, use the advantages your vehicle provides to the max. Are you driving a light tank? Try and use a stealthy approach to attack the enemy capture points and assist your heavy allies with artillery strikes. Are you driving an SPG? Take a position which covers a key approach or a capture point. Medium and heavy tanks are the main strike force used for actual offensive. Remember that. Rule number four. Don't be greedy. Yes, you heard it right. Nothing else other than greed kills as many players in urban combat. If your team is winning by having a majority of capture points, don't bother going for the last one, still in enemy hands. Such arcade rushes will benefit none other than your enemies, who will probably be desperate to win in any other way. Town yards and narrow streets are perfect for an ambush. By driving from one position to another, you always risk losing some members of your team. While now a vacant capture point will change hands, as you might fail to take another and voila, the game has a new winner. Play defensively, don't act tough and heroic when it's uncalled for. Dig in, hold your position and slowly ramp those frags up. Such consistency will benefit both you and your team as a whole. That's it for today, we're Thunder Tutorials signing out.